And I know I, I kind of already highlighted your book, The Road Less Stupid, but you had this quote in there that said, I don't, I don't need to do more smart things. I just need to do fewer dumb things. And I think a lot of business leaders are always looking for this next big idea or great idea, that next home run thing. But what you advocate for a lot in the book is just making good decisions. Um, will you just talk about that conceptually? Business is an intellectual sport. Business and money do not respond well to emotion, gut, and glands. In fact, if I gave you or anybody who's listening, if I gave you the opportunity to unwind any three financial decisions you've ever made, how much money would you have right now? And most people tell wow. me, oh my God, if I could just <laughs> unwind one of my, of my decisions, I could have double, triple, quadruple, I'd have 10 X the amount of money that I have right now. So the key, if that's true, the key to getting rich and staying rich is to avoid doing stupid things. Business is an intellectual sport and all of us tend to self-sabotage at one point or another. And that self-sabotage is largely a result of allowing one of three things, one of three things to happen. At the root of all of my financial disasters, my financial mistakes, there's one of three things. Number one, excessive optimism. Number two, unexamined assumptions. And number three, ignored risk. Excessive optimism, unexamined assumptions, ignored risk. The only way I'm going to be successful sustainably in business is if I view business as an intellectual sport. The book that many of us have heard of, a lot of us have copies of, a few of us have read. <laughs> the book is called Think and Grow Rich. The name of the book is not use your emotions, your gut and your glands to grow rich. And so I've found in my own business and with the business owners that I work with, that if we'll bake in some thinking time, bake in some, um, it, it, the, so maybe this is a great way to say it. Uh, gladiators win battles, generals win wars. Hmm. And when I look at the way most people tend to approach their business, it's at a gladiator level which means that they're going to slay all the dragons, but they won't win the war because winning the war requires that you be thoughtful. It requires a plan. It requires supply chains. It supplies, it requires resources. And all of that is in the thinking part, which is why I wrote the book.